Hello, boys and girls. This is Mr. Brusson again, ready for another science lesson. How are you? I hope that you've been having a nice week. And today we are going to do a lesson that, well, I cannot tell you because we're going to find out together. But it is a long, 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 long lesson. But don't be scared. Don't be scared because we are going to divide it into three parts, okay? We are going to take it slowly and we are eventually, after we do part one, part two, and part three, we are going to have reached the learning target perfectly, right? Are you ready for science? Are you ready for the lesson? All right, so here we go. So by the time we finish these lessons, we should be able to hit the target right in the middle. We are going to take three days, but when we finish, we should hit that target, that learning target. We will be able to explain it. We will be able to manipulate it. Anybody can ask us and we will be able to tell them exactly what we can do. And the learning target is, I can formulate, I can make, I can create empirical questions that lead to accumulating evidence, collecting and uh, recording evidence in order to show what fossils are and in order to learn from them. We will also be using evidence to support our explanations. So we are going to be finding information about fossils what they are, where we can find them, all sorts of things. We're going to be collecting evidence. We're going to be recording that evidence. And at the end, we should be able to explain what fossils are and all the things that we can learn from them. Okay? So after three days, we will be able to reach that target without any problems. The first thing that I want you to do, okay, is to open a document that is called Before and After before and after activity. Do you see it? So you're going to open that document and if you are in a group, do it with your group on a, in a breakout room or if you are by yourself, then do it by yourself. Or if you have anybody at home that you can do it with like a, a little sister or little brother or big sister or big brother or mom, dad, you can do it with them. If not, just do it by yourself. So open that document. It looks like this. Do you have it open? It looks like this. It says before activity, Agree, do you see it right there? Agree, disagree, and then statement. Do you see it? Do you have it? So if you are with a group of students or with someone else that you can get together with, then read the statement under the statement column. And then if you agree with that statement, you will put a check mark under agree. If you disagree with the statement, Put a check mark under disagree. Okay? So go ahead and do that now and go through all five statements, okay? All you have to do is a check mark under agree or disagree. So pause the video and go ahead and do that. So pause and check. Pause and check. So we just looked at those claims and we agreed or disagreed with them. So scientists do that based on their previous knowledge and experiences. However, they support their claims with evidence. So they back up their claims with evidence. So we're not just going to leave it there. Later on, or maybe the next lesson or the next next lesson, we will come back to that and make sure that we can support our claims with evidence. So we might have to maybe change some of the ones that we agreed with or the ones that we disagreed with we might have to change them based on the evidence that we find, okay? So now we are going to read two articles. They're not too long. We're going to read them together. We're going to go through some vocabulary. I think you're going to find them super interesting. I thought they were awesome. And uh, then we're going to add, have some questions about the articles so that we can start gathering that evidence that we need to reach the target, which is what are fossils and what we can learn from them. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, find the first article. So the first article is that one. Do you see it? Tennessee fossil article. So you're going to open that document. Tennessee fossil article. You open it, it looks like this. Okay. So are you ready? Make sure you have that document opened and then let's read together. We will make some stops and ask some questions. Okay. And remember, we're trying to find information about fossils, what they are and what we can learn from them. So let's go ahead and start reading. 
the article. So the title, A Tennessee Girl Discovered a 475 Million Year Old Fossil. And this was published by the Associated Press, May 3rd, 2018. Dandridge, Tennessee. A Tennessee girl's discovery while out walking was eons in the making. So do you know what eons is? Eons in the making. So eons is a indefinite and long period of time. Let's continue reading. WATE TV reports 11 year old Riley Taylor was walking around the shore of Douglas Lake in Dandridge when she found a 475 million year old fossil. The station reports her family reached out to Colin Somral, an associate professor of paleobiology at the University of Tennessee. To confirm the find. What is paleobiology? So sometimes we have to look at context and try to figure out sort of what the word means. We don't always have the definition. So paleobiology, if they call that professor, it must be because somehow this professor studies things related to fossils, right? We might not know exactly what it means, but we know that this professor has to do with something related to fossils. Let's continue reading. So, let's see if I can find my place. Okay. Some role said Riley found a trilobite, an extinct marine animal. Marine. If you know Spanish, you know mar means sea. So, marine animal. A sea animal. And that animal is extinct. It does not live anymore. That species is gone. Somal says it's unusual to find a trilobite fossil with all its pieces intact. So it was, it was a very good fossil. It was, you could actually tell exactly what it was. Riley says she hopes the discovery inspires other children to go out, enjoy nature, and see what they can find. She doesn't plan to keep the fossil because she wants to see it displayed in a museum so other people can enjoy it as well. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty interesting. Imagine if you could find a fossil like that. I would love to find one. So now we are going to open another article. This one is titled CNN article. Do you see it? CNN article. So let's open that document and it should look like this. Like this, okay? You have it open? As soon as you do, we'll start reading together. Are you ready to start reading? All right, so a six-year-old girl goes digging in the dirt at her sister's soccer game and finds a 65 million year old fossil. And this article was written by Mercedes Leguizamos and Said Ajmed from CNN. And it was also in 2018. So. A six-year-old girl, like first grader, found this 65-year-old million fossil. Whoa, that it, I would love to find something like that. But if I was a six-year-old boy or girl, I would be so excited to find something like that. So let's start reading now. After we looked at the picture, that is the girl right there. Naomi was bored. A six-year-old can stay riveted by her old sister's soccer game for only so long. So she went over to some sagebrush by the soccer field, poked around the dirt, and picked up a small rock. Something about its swirl reminded her of the mystical necklace from Disney's Moana. Mystical. What does that word mean? That's right, inspiring a sense of mystery. So she thought it was something mysterious. Are you reading? That was last October. Earlier this month, Naomi's family learned what the rock really is. A rare 65 million year old fossil. Goodness. And we are now on the next page. Something about the rock. On that day last year, Naomi needed something to pass the time. Her sister JV soccer game in Bend, Oregon was in full swing. So she went digging. 
From the looks of it, her mom couldn't tell there was something special about... Oh, the mom could tell, could tell. I have to correct myself. That there was something special about Naomi's Moana rock. She knew it right away. Naomi's dad, Darren Vong, told CNN, I am not sure I would have. What the girl had found was the fossil of an ammonite, a sea creature, a marine creature, that went the way of the dinosaurs millions of years ago. It got extinct millions of years ago. But the confirmation led to another head scratcher. How did it end up in Oregon? And what it means for a girl? All right, let's continue. Greg Redelock, director of paleontological collections at the University of Oregon's Museum of Natural and Cultural History, told CNN that ammonite fossils are common, but not in band. In some cases, some extremely rare cases, ammonites can fetch between $40,000 and $50,000. But because there is so little known about Naomi's fossil, it's not scientifically significant. Radalak said. Also, I guess she's not going to be making a lot of money from the fossil, but it was still exciting. But it is invaluable in another respect. What a find like this can mean to an inquiring young mind. To a young girl, this could mean a lot. This is how we all start, he said. Redalock's own career as paleontologist dates back about 60 years. He was six years old when he found his first fossil, a shell on the beach. And I never looked back, he said. Let's finish the article. Let's finish the article here. Okay, let me find my place. There is no telling what the future holds for Naomi, now seven. For now, she's just happy she gets to keep her fossil. So Naomi got to keep her fossil. Pretty interesting, huh? That these children have found these uh, fossils and have you been paying attention to what a fossil is? Have you gotten some clues already? I've gotten some, but we're going to come back to that. Now, I'm going to ask you a few questions uh, kind of related to the articles, okay? When you have gone out and you have kind of poked around in dirt, what are some things that you might have found in the dirt? So think about that for a few minutes. Make a list now. You can do it in your science notebook. Make a list of the things that you might have found when you go when you go outside and you've poked around in the dirt. Okay, I'm sh I'm sure most of you, most of us, have gone at some point and just sort of dug stuff in the dirt just because it's fun. So make a list of things that you have found when you uh, poked around on the dirt. So I am going to poke around a little bit here in the dirt. Let's see what we can find. You know. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I found a little rock right here. There is a little rock that I found. I found, oh, I found a little piece of glass. Let me see what else I find over here as I dig in this dirt. Let's see what else I can find. Let me see, I think I saw a little insect running around. Let's see, you know, there's a little tiny insect, but you cannot see it. Okay, so what kind of things have you found when you've gone digging around? So do you make a list of all the things that you have found? Sticks, glass, insects, rocks. Did any of you ever find a fossil?